If you never stopped believing that The Sopranos would live on somehow, we can tell you in no uncertain terms that a movie prequel is coming. With an all-new Gandolfini, here's what we know about the many saints of Newark so far. It's been 20 years since Tony Soprano began to show us a different side of New Jersey, and 12 since the series ended with its infamous cut to black. While the heartbreaking death of James Gandolfini in 2013 eliminated the possibility of a satisfying Sopranos sequel, creator David Chase is taking us back to the world of the Bada Bing with the origin story of Tony and company. Chase has written the prequel with Lawrence Connor, a fellow Soprano scribe who received an Emmy nod for his writing on season three of the series. The film will explore Tony Soprano's childhood in Jersey throughout the 60s, a formative time period that was shown via flashbacks during the run of the hit series. You disobeyed your old man and I ought to give you the belt. A key part of the film is set in 1967, against the backdrop of the racially charged Newark riots. David Chase has said that one of the things that drew him to the project was his interest in exploring the tension between Italian and African Americans at the time. That, and the black market, of course. The really true beginning of the flood, flood of drugs. After an extensive casting search, the role of young Tony Soprano went to a familiar face, James Gandolfini's 19-year-old son, Michael. Filmmakers say the young Gandolfini won the coveted role because of his resemblance to his late father and his mastery of Tony's timeless mannerisms. While relatively new to acting, Michael has had a small role in Ocean's 8 and a recurring role on HBO's The Deuce in the past year. Disobedience actor Alessandro Nivola will be playing Dickie Moltisanti, Carmela's cousin and father to Christopher, Michael Imperioli's character from the show. You ask anybody. Your old man was a legend. He single-handed hunted down our New England crew. Although Dickie never appeared in the series, remember he got whacked? Guy in there killed your father. His character loomed large in Sopranos lore. Of the role, Alessandro said this. Tony will be uh, a character in the film, and my character was an important uh, person in his life and it examines that relationship as well. Meanwhile, Punisher's John Bernthal, Bates Motel's Vera Farmiga, House of Cards' Corey Stoll, and Game Night's Billy Magnuson have all been cast in unspecified roles. Given the time period covered in the film, don't be surprised if two of these unspecified roles end up being Uncle Junior and Livia, Tony's mother. Behind the camera will be Alan Taylor, a Sopranos veteran who won an Emmy for directing the season six episode, Kennedy and Heidi. He's also directed quite a bit of Game of Thrones for HBO, not to mention Terminator Genesis. So young Tony should be in good hands. With production set to begin in April, expect to see it in theaters sometime in 2020. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Zappuccino, Zappuccino.